Okay, tell them what we're doing again. We're real. playing SCP-087. Yes. It's stairwell. We originally wanted to do corridors, but actually, we kind of screwed up and got this one instead. Yes, and we screwed up further by not recording soon enough. Well, <laughs> <laughs> how do how do I know what floor I'm on? I don't know. I think there's a sign at the end of it. Look, oh. take a look for a minute. I don't, I don't see a sign. Look closely. Go up close to it and look. Up, I, up. I know. I'm looking very close. There should be. There is no sign. Sign. Why aren't you there? Can you run? Uh, no. It feels like you're in a weird fever dream. You can't run. I don't think you just can. Just jump all floaty. Uh, I'm still looking up what floor it is. Uh, well, I don't know what floor I'm on, so that wouldn't help much. Ooh. Why are you shaking the whole bed? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I hear something. Oh, the original story. Alright, there's a child crying. In one of, that's one of the oh. shadows I was talking about. So what happens if I run into it? Nothing? Nothing. Oh, okay. That's not so scary. I'm trying to look at what floor it is. So do you run away from the base? What, what happens? What do I do when I see it? Should I read the original story while we play this? Okay, hold on though. If I run into the face, what do I do? You die! I, no, no, I mean, what do I do if I see it? Try to avoid it, I don't know. Alright, All let right. me read it. Item SCP-087, Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures, SCP-087. It's located on the campus of Red Active. The doorway leading to SCP-087 is constructed at a reinforced steel with an electro-release lock mechanism. It has been disguised to resemble a janitor concept condescended condescended? Yes. With the design of the building. The lock mechanism of the... Whatever, I'm just gonna read the description. I don't really care about the description. Just, just give me a gist. What is going on here? I don't know. No, I mean, based on what you read. It's just saying how it's contained. No. So description. SCP-087 is a, is a new unlit platform staircase. True. Stairs descend on a 38 degree angle for 13 steps before reaching a sem semicircular platform of approximately 3 meters in diameter. Descent dire direction uh, rotates 100. Eight. Well, you're cr you're doomed. Let's but, go close to it. I don't, I don't want to. Just jump on the staircase then! I don't want to go close to it if it kills me. We Kills me. Jump over the freaking staircase then! Okay. Is that how you avoid it? Yeah, that's how I did it. Okay. You know, you're seriously gonna get owned. There you go! You got owned! Well, that's not fair. How do you avoid. Okay, so basically, you just. You lose if it. Yeah! If you see. In every it. SCP game, you die. Containment breach. Not corridors. But if there's no way, if there's no way to avoid it, then it's and just the, a luck and game. And the hell version of Narnia one. So it's just a game of luck. It's a game of yeah. It is. Hold on. How do you how do you? You know we're still recording. I know. What was it? SCP-087. This is what it looks like up close, Emma. This is what it looks like up close. Oh, figure B, SCP-087-1, that's what it is. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Oh, there's a document of, oh, this is the original story, I found it. 
Okay. All right. You guys are gonna hear an awesome story. Oh. Uh, okay. Did you look up how to avoid it? Mm, yeah, but I didn't find anything particularly useful. Document SCP-087-1, Exploration 1. D-8432 is a 43-year-old Caucasian male of an average build is and appearance is in a, a remarkably physiological, psychological, I mean, background. Class D designation is a result of emotion the mishandling SCP blank blank. D-8432 is equipped with a a 73 watt flood lamp with the battery power capable of lasting 24 hours in a handheld camcorder fitted with, with the transmission screen and an audio headset for communication with D blank, Dr. Blank at control. D8432 steps through the doorway onto an initial platform. Despite the wattage, the floor, the flood lamp only illuminates at least the first nine steps. The second platform is not visible. B842, it's leaping dark. Because it's a square. Trying to keep this um, appropriate mm -hmm. for young viewers. <laughs> like anyone will watch this. Yeah. Dr. Blank, is your flood lamp? Punching properly. B842 shines the light out at, at the door and into the academic building's hallway. Mm -hmm. The light reaches significantly further. B8432. Yeah, it's working. It just won't let like these stairs all the way down. Dr. Blank, thank you. Please continue. D8432 stands up. 13 steps before reaching the second platform. The platform is in the shape of a semicircle with, a, with an apparently concrete surface and walls. There are no distinct markings. Aside from the nondescript patches of dust, dirt, and wear consistent with that which is found in a typical concrete stairwell. D8432 rotates 180 degrees and descends down the second flight, then pauses. D point. He got the bike. Sorry. Reason for stopping? D8432. You hear that? There's a, a leaping bit down there. Sounds like one. Not up. The described audio is being through the camera or mic at this time. Dr. Blank, can you please describe the sound? C8432. It's young, either female or a very young boy. It's crying and sobbing, saying, Puzz, please, Puzz, please, Puzz, please. Yeah, it keeps repeating that and crying. Dr. Blank, can you estimate its difference? from your current location. D8 for two, uh, like, I don't know, maybe 200 meters down. Dr. Blank, please continue down the next flight. The subject descends another 13 steps as he reaches the landing. The audio of the child is, is described as picked up. The child alternates between sobbing, wailing, and words, please help. And down here, the level of audio is consistent with E843's report of being approximately 200 meters below. B blind and Dr. Blind, can you still hear the crime? E8432. I'm so get, I'm really used to saying that name. Yeah? <laughs> Dr. Blind, we're picking it up as well. Please continue now. Stop if you notice any changes in audio or environment. Subject descends another three flights of stairs before stopping. E843 to be going, Dr. Blank. Please. D8432 continues another 
17 flights. And that's all I'm going to read for today. Because okay. my voice is getting tired. It's very long. It is indeed very long. Are you enjoying skipping over those staircases? Hardly. Wait, if you want to keep walking downstairs, I'll read it. And you can walk down the stairs more if it's tired anyways. This is so exciting. Mm -hmm. Most fun game ever. Yeah, this is why we should have hmm. made sure that this was corridor. Next we're gonna try to find corridors, aren't we? Yeah. There's a map vision. I haven't encountered that guy yet, so it should be fine. Eh, uh, you're gonna jinx us. Mm. That was just you! I know. I'm just knocking on wood. Were you trying to scare the viewers? No, I was trying to undo the jinx. <laughs> no, that's saying knock on wood. Like that. Uh, imagine the, wait, who are we playing as? Are we playing as D8432? The guy. Yeah, we're playing as D8432. Or we could just make up our own class D names. That's true. It'll be D1111, because why not? The most best name ever. Wait. Did you just hear a dripping sound? I guess. I love this game. This game has a, actually a kind of good story to it. Yeah. It's absolutely pointless when you're playing it, but if you know the story, you know it, you're up. Yeah. That, I'm surprised we haven't heard the child's crying in this. Reading now. It must be the guy. The guy you're playing is not the faceless dude. Mm -hmm. oh, it's Slendy! No. No. He has a face. I was Slendy. We're gonna start seeing him very soon. I, I sense it. Your spidey senses? Spidey. Well, we're almost out of, out of footage, so better find him soon. Yeah, I want to see you get slapped again. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to play some corridors. Let's see if we can find it. That was not a pleasant sound. Should I jinx this now? Because I'm getting really bored. Yes. Just, just do it. All right. So USCP, come and get us. We are ready. Yeah. Yeah. We want this to be over with. Come kill us already. Or whatever he does to us. Slaps us. Slaps us with his. Giant gives us a sticker. <laughs> With a, with a butterfly on it. Those butterflies yeah. are terrifying. Indeed. Not really. <laughs> oh, there he is. Just in time. There's a minute of footage left. What do you think about that? Well, Alright, just run into him. Hold on, let's see if I can avoid him. You're crazy! I just want to see if I can. Oh my god, you did it! Oh. Um. I guess this is the end of the episode. Uh -huh. How to avoid the SCP. Yeah, yeah. That's what we're going to call it. No, then people will get extremely angry. Oh, no. Let's call it SCP-087 playthrough. <laughs> the word, the most pointless thing ever. Okay. Unless you know the story. Like we do, because I just read it. So, yeah. 
end of the episode.